All right, um, welcome back to the LMS concept. What we're looking at now is a January 2023 um, CXC math paper three, right? So we're actually looking at question one right now for paper three, which is the alternate to the SBA. All right, so it reads as follows. It says the diagram below shows the front view of Pinky's house, which um, includes four windows and a door, right? Um, so we're looking at it, four windows and a door. So that's it. Dimensions are on it. We're seeing everything clearly. The first question says, it calculates. So we're looking at the first question right there. It says, calculate the total surface area of the front view of Pinky's house inclusive of the windows and the doors, all right? So basically, we're just going to take everything we're looking at there. Um, if I could just quickly cut this into two pieces, we're seeing that this front view of the house here consists of um, a rectangle and triangle, right? So I just put on the triangle part there. So it's a rectangle and a triangle. What we want to do is to be able to find the area of these two shapes and then combine them. And then we would have had the surface area for the front view, including the doors and the windows, all right? So let us just put that together um, quickly, <clears throat> all right? So, so basically then, that front view um, would be consisting of uh, one, the the area of the rectangle, right? So let's just look at that first. So the area of the rectangle, the dimensions are giving, here's the, that's the length and that's the width right there. So we're talking about length times width, which is equal to 13 meters times 7.5 meters, right? So 13 times 7.5, I'll do this quickly. And that is 97. So I'm getting 97.5 square meters, right? So that is actually the area for, um, that's the area for the rectangle part. All right, so let's find the area of the triangle. Area of the triangle is equal to, as we know, half base times the height, right? So um, technically speaking, this is the base of the triangle. And then this is the height given. So that number that we have for the base there, it is going to be the same 13 meters from down here. So basically, we are looking at a half times 13 times 3.4. So a half times 13 times 3.4. Let's finalize that. And I'm getting 21. This is giving me a total of 22.1 square meters. All right. So we could highlight the fact that this is the area of the rectangle. This is the area of the triangle apart. So now the total surface area is going to equal to the 97.5 plus 22.1. We'll put that together. And we're looking at 119.6 meters square. So here it is. That represents the, the front view, the area of the front view, including the, the area of, including the windows and the doors. All right, let's see what else we have there. All right, the second question, right? The second part of this question says, says here that 
the windows, the windows and doors um, are made of shutterproof glass, right? The door is 1.5 meters wide and 2.8 meters high. Each of the four windows is 1.5 meters wide and 1.4 meters high. Determine the minimum amount of glass needed for the door and the windows. All right. So let us look at the dimension. So we're talking about one door. In terms of its dimension, we got um, we got a 1.2 meters by 2.8 meters. But if we work this out, we can actually get the area of that, right? So 1.2 times 2.8 is giving us 3.36 square meters already. And um, one window, the dimensions are as follows. It's 1.8 meters by 1.4 meters. So we could quickly check that 1.8 times 1.4 and we'll get 2.25, 2.52 should say, square meters. But remember, it's four windows, right? So we have to take into consideration the number of windows. So we're going to multiply that by four, right? So we'll multiply that by four. We're getting 10.08 for the four windows. 10.08 square meters, right? So in terms of the minimum glass needed, so now I want to refer to the minimum glass needed. It's going to equal to the 108 for the four windows plus the 3.36. So let's put that together. And I'm getting 13.44 meters square. So that would have been the minimum, right? That's the minimum needed right there in terms of glass material for the doors and the windows. So the third part says pinky. So it is now saying that pink covers the front of the house, excluding. So we want to pay keen attention to that part. All right, she so covers the front of the house, excluding the door and the four windows with decorative wall tiles. Calculate the area she covers with tiles, all right? So what we're going to do basically is to subtract from the total surface area. So basically... Um, the part that will be covered with tiles would be our total surface area minus, right? Minus what we have for the doors and the windows. So we want to subtract the area, right, for, right? And a door. So basically, we're talking about 119 Point six, and we want to take from that 13.44, right? 119.6, subtracting 13.44, and then this will leave us with 106.16 meters square. So this would have been the area that would have been covered, all right? basically for that part that pinky pinky paints one of the walls of the house which has an area of 53 square meters so the area that we're thinking about now is a part that is about 53 square meters so we're thinking about that now we're being told that one liter of paint covers 4.5 um, square meters. So we say no, one liter, yeah, 
one liter will cover a one liter cover is a 4.5 square meters right so one liter will cover that no problem all right um paint is sold in in 2.5 liters a tin right so we're gonna buy 2.5 liters in a tin so we're talking about it is sold in tins and we're saying that it's 2.5 liters per tin 2.5 liters in one tin no problem each costing 24 dollars so we're talking about the cost per tin is going to be $24.75. So they are saying that Pinky buys the least number of tins required to paint this wall. In other words, we need to paint off all of this wall, right? Calculate the cost of the paint required, right, to paint the wall cost of the paint with required because she's going to have to buy the number of required tins right so now what we want to do is to put some things into context first we want to know the number of liters of paint that will be required so we want to write down that we intend to find out the number of liters the number of liters of paint needed so it's all about this area, which is 53 uh, meters square. We want to divide that by 4.5 because we're saying that for each 4.5 surface covered, uh, meter surface covered, it's going to be one liter. So 53 divided by 4.5 will give us a, about 11.8 11 .8 liters, right? that will be needed but at the same time we realize that for each tin is 2.5 so i need to know how many tins so i need to know the number of tins needed because each tin consists of 2.5 liters so i'm going to have to divide this 11.8 divide it up by 2.5 to see how many i'll get so 11.8, I divide this by 2.5, and I'm getting 4.72 tins, right? 4.72 tins that I need. But you can't buy 4.72 tins, and you can't buy less than this. So you're going to have to actually buy five tins. And then we'll use and whatever leftover is leftover. So we would have to purchase five tins. So five tins will be needed to cover everything. Right? And five tins at $24.75 for one. So five times 24.75. And that is going to cost us it's going to run us $123.75 to buy all five tin. All right, mark you. We will use a little less than five, but you would have to buy the tin anyway and use and you would have some leave over. Thank you for watching Daily Mats Concepts. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Like the videos and drop a comment. See you next time for Question 2.